yes sir yeah now I'll start hello everyone welcome to our online educational platform educlasses.co.in my name is mitesh sharma and i am a founder of educlasses.co.in today we start up a new video section on our uh, platform it is one question webinar in this section we simply ask one trending question from an expert of any domain today we have invited uh, mr sudhanshu kumar he is an expert of uh, data science domain he is a chief data scientist and uh, founder of i neuron bangalore so let's get started hello sir yeah thank you mitesh for inviting me and uh, it's my pleasure to uh, like um, uh, like a uh, work with you and to like uh, collaborate and contribute uh, with your organization so first of all i want to thank you sir for so giving us a precious time of your and uh, come on our board yeah sure so sir thank as you know sir uh, it is a one question webinar and this is our new theme we are going to start so as you are data science expert so we are going to uh, ask you one or two questions of data science so as you know sir that there is a if you see the world or there is only one thing is the data science data scientist data engineer data analyst data scientist is a so trending sir so i want to ask you that sir why data science is so trending in the world right now okay so mitesh uh, first of all uh, like uh, we have to understand that uh, like a uh, why data is so much important right and yes. uh, what is a volume of the data or like a uh, what is the kind of a uh, data that we are dealing with so yes, if if i recall right so we are generating a data since last 50 years since last 60 year right it's not like a data is a new thing for us right okay. we had a data but in last 10 year the way we have started generating a data has increased exponentially so whether it's a supply chain industry retail industry or maybe a healthcare industry or maybe a telecom banking finance all those industry and day by day right so day by day this uh, business operations or like understanding a customers is getting complex because we are living into a diversified area so uh, like our business is diversified our entire data set is diversified uh, entire industry or economy is uh, diversified so data is like a, it's, it's the kind of a data that we are producing now is complex and it's it's very uh, difficult it's very tough to like uh, find out the sentiment or i would say to find out some kind of a relationship between a data and to handle such a volume of a data and that's the reason that's the re and again at the same point of a time so industry always looks for a quick insights and that to a reliable one because if i have to take some decision right uh, to, to like uh, to invest somewhere or maybe like uh, to build a new product or to serve my customer so unless and until i'm not able to understand understand their true need so for sure i will not be able to make a decision so maybe i'll uh, not be able to serve my customer in a better way maybe i will not be able to grow my business in a better way and uh, that's a reason that's a reason i can say that we all are we all are dependent on a data right and again it's a complex one and that's the reason so we need an engineer so we need a data engineer who will be responsible for or who will be, will be able to help you out to like a uh, build a entire pipeline by which you will be able to process a huge volume of a data you need a data scientist who will be able to find out a relationship between a data who will be able to find out a business insights of a data and then based on that you will be able to make a quick decision or machine itself will try to give you some kind of a decision right mm -hmm. and that falls under a data science if i'll talk about ai right yes, so sir. ai itself yes, is a huge area ai is not just a, like a, a single thing i would say it's a combination of i would say like a mathematics it's a combination of an algorithm it's a combination of the statistics part entire statistics part i would say uh, some part of programming as well plus it's a like a, again inside this a data science so there are a different subsections you will be able to find out like a machine learning like a deep learning like a nlp like a reinforcement learning and all sort of a thing so this is where this is this is where like a data scientist come into a picture and this is where so data scientist like a, will try to help you out to build a different different kind of a application so i can i can talk about like a self driven car maybe i can talk about uh, like a, a day to day uh, like we we, are, we all are using a gmail so in a gmail you must have seen that it will try to give you a automatic i would say like uh, some kind of a hint whenever you are typing a gmail or whenever you will receive a mail so it will try to like uh, give you some automated response as well so everywhere everywhere i would say like to automate a things or to make some kind of a decision so we need 
a data science expert. Okay. We need such kind of a people. And that's the reason. So data scientists, data science, like there is a huge demand. There is a huge demand of a data scientist across the industry. Now, if I'll talk about data analyst, right? Yes, so data analyst is a kind of a people who always help us in, in terms of building a dashboard. Uh, like so that business will not have to look into uh, actual data business will be able to look into a uh, final insights and based on that they will be able to make a decision based on the like they will be able to understand an entire trend right and this is where a data analyst comes into our picture so i would say like this data engineer data science and data scientist and a uh, data analyst so all of these like uh, people or like uh, all of these people is having a certain set of a skill and uh, based on their skill set and based on like uh, their like uh, their expertise and experiences so they always try to help us to make a better decision to serve our customer in a better way to understand a diversification diversified market in a much much better way so that's the reason so it's it's getting uh, trendy uh, nowadays i would say since last uh, 3 to 4 year and even in future right even in future so if something will happen it will happen in this area itself and it's not like uh, other technologies are not uh, like uh, other technologies are not important yes everything is important Everything is a part of this uh, technical stack or this ecosystem. We are using many technology all together to build a single product. But if I talk about a core, a core of any product, a core of any technology, so I will completely agree with this fact that data is something which is going to sit in a core and based on that you can do an amazing thing which we can't even imagine in some of the situation as of now. So it means, sir, uh, all the organizations are uh, getting insights from uh, old past data. So not only from the old past data, so historical data is one of the component, I would say. Okay. But uh, okay. what I can say is, like uh, many times we are not uh, dependent upon the historical data set, right? So many times we depend upon the real time data set. If I'll talk about a computer vision, right? So suppose if I have to build a model for some kind of a detection, some kind of a tracking, right? Or some kind of a, like an analysis. So generally we depends upon the current data itself based so on that. So real time data set. Pipeline. Yeah. So uh, it depends upon always like a real time data set. Again, if I'll talk about uh, NLP, so yeah, it's a mixture of like uh, both. So it, it, it varies, I would say. So I can't say that it just depends upon the historical data. Yes, historical data plays a crucial role. I will agree with that. But at the same point of a time, so whenever we are trying to build some application, so it's a combination of a historical data plus a, the data that we are trying to generate on a day to day like a uh, basis and again whatever like uh, apps that you are using whether it's a ola or uber or maybe a google map or maybe a swiggy or maybe a Zomato or maybe a uber eat so every app right so every app try to like understand or like every company try to understand their customer and they are trying to like uh, take a blend of historical data and a current data, yeah, current data. from your devices and based on that they're trying to understand you uh, like uh, and they're trying to find out the relevance between the historical events and they're like uh, trying to like uh, help you out in a much better way so this is where i would say like uh, not only a historical data but historical plus a current data right. comes into a picture it's a and, combination uh, of both data exactly yes a combination of both the data is going to help you out to make a better business decision so you are running a i neuron center in the bangalore and uh, yes. giving so many courses are uh, uh, what are the please give me some brief, brief about that your institute or your courses yeah so i know is not uh, just a uh, institute or we are not just providing a courses so we actually have a two division so okay. we have a product development division plus we have a academic division right okay, so in a product division like uh, we are uh, like trying to serve many clients uh, like uh, india as well as abroad many uh, different different clients from the different different domains we have onboarded and we are working for them along with that so we have some of our internal products as well for a security for a surveillance and for many other different different kind of uh, things and even recently so like we have started working on many other projects as well and so and this is one division which is like a product division that we have in an academic division 
So what we felt is like, uh, because, because since last like uh, three to four years, so I'm in this like education industry and uh, I was trying to educate people in terms of, I was trying to give some kinds of insights. Um, I can say like uh, in, in big data, in uh, data analytics and in a uh, data science. Again, if I'll talk about data science, so including machine learning, statistics, computer vision, NLP and all sort of a thing. So what we have felt is like uh, people are trying to focus on learning, right? Okay. So learning is one thing that is fine. And there are many good people. There are many very good organization who is trying to help people in the similar way, the way we are doing, right? There is no if and but with that. But uh, we uh, like uh, we figured out one particular lag that uh, learning is fine, but maybe if you are trying to make a transition, maybe if you are trying to work on some application, some product end to end, right? End to end, if you're trying to work. So learning is not the thing which is uh, going to help you out. You need something else. You need something extra along with the learning. So actual learning actually, actual learning always starts from a uh, development. So unless and until you are not trying to do something by yourself, so for sure, your learning curve will not be completed. And it's kind of an infinite loop, I would say, right? So because it, it never ends in every product, every application is going to give you a new sort of a challenges. So what we have decided is, okay, fine. So we have a, something into a product division. Let's try to take an advantage of that, that product or that services that we are trying to provide to our customer and the kind of a challenges that we are solving for our clients, for our customers. So let's try to bring this module into an academic area as well, so that a people who are trying to learn, right? So they will not just learn, they will try to contribute. They will try to contribute in our real time project and they will be able to like uh, get a better understanding and not only understanding a practical implication they will be able to get and keeping these things in our mind. So we have started this academic and again inside this academic. So we are trying to like, uh, give all of our courses in an affordable price. So like that's the reason. So we have named these things as affordable AI, affordable. right? So yes. whether it's a machine learning a stats bundle that we are trying to provide with uh, like a 20 plus project and that two project means like a uh, actual project, right? Uh, with everything we are providing that to with the 3,540 rupees, which is nothing, right? Is nothing. And plus, uh, plus what we have figured out is so many times, many times. So like uh, you have to like, you need some kind of hand holding. You need someone to explain you in person. You need someone to guide you or to help you out whenever you will get stuck because that is very normal for a human being, right? So whenever I will start learning something, so for sure I need someone's help, right? Yes. At that point of time, at the technology, right? And if I'm not able to get a proper help, so for sure I'll feel frustrated or maybe I'll, I'll not take much interest, right? I'll start losing my interest and keeping these things in mind. So we have started this live interactive session Plus we are giving a live doubt session where people can join and then uh, they can share their screen. They can ask any kind of a doubt. Plus there is a mail support as well. Plus there is a Skype support as well. A live Skype support live for step. all seven days. All seven days we are trying to give to the people so that you're not supposed to wait. You have a doubt. Okay, fine. So go to that platform and then ping us and you will be able to like uh, connect one to one and you will be able to resolve your doubt. So, as much as possible. So we are trying to like a help from our side and day by day. So even we are trying to increase a new features so that like a uh, people will be able to take a real uh, time advantages and they will be able to make a, like a transition into a data science area, into a big data area, into a data analytics area yeah. depends upon their like a uh, requirements and depends upon their interest. So sir, it means uh, you are giving a wonderful course uh, in which you are giving both academic and industrial all also. So, uh, yes, yeah. Yes, so sir. industry is also part of that because, uh, yeah, because uh, I, I told you, right? So because what we feel is unless and until you have not worked, right? Yes, sir. Your learning is not done. Yes. Simple. Yes, sir. I and have seen multiple times that uh, people is uh, students learning from uh, academic, but they are nothing in the practical or kind of industrial way. And uh, you are solving both of the problems and giving the academic course plus industrial. That is very fine, sir. Exactly. So like I said, there are many very good people. There are many very good organization. So who is trying to do a same and, uh, but yeah, so we have added something uh, like extra on top of that so that people will be able to get a real time advantage yes, with uh, affordable price because uh, suppose there are college students, right? So maybe uh, they, they, uh, they like, uh, they won't be able to like uh, join a, some kind of a classroom program or some kind of a courses with a very high price, right? But here, so people can join because we know that even uh, like uh, in, in across the industry, so people are hiding a freshers, 
right? Yes, so people sir. are hiring college graduates as well. So if we have to help them, so yes, in this way, we are trying to help them. And again, freshers have never seen any kind of industry experience. So in this way, they will be able to get an industry experience before become a part of the industry. Yes. So that they will not have to like a, a reskill again from the ground zero. They can join, they can start contributing. And then from there, they will start learning things. So uh, yeah, that, that's a, like a whole idea that we like a thought of and uh, we are like a, trying to execute it consistently each and every day. Oh, sir, that's a wonderful, sir. And uh, I, want, I want to give you a wonderful thank to come on the board and uh, give a brief about our data science and uh, some explanation of, about your uh, courses. And uh, each. so sir, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank you so much, Mitesh, uh, like uh, to uh, like uh, ask me to uh, like uh, join your like a uh, platform and uh, uh, share some kind of uh, knowledge with you. So it was like uh, always my pleasure, pleasure, right? And uh, yeah, so we'll we'll keep on connecting and we'll keep on helping people uh, in in whatever way, uh, like uh, whatever way, uh, like uh, we we are supposed to. Yeah. Yes. So sir. thank you so much, and uh, it was my pleasure to connect with you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you.